Ron Paul and the Jay Leno show last night, disappointing. I was hoping for more. I didn't quite, you know, expect it. I think, uh, you know, some of my optimism, people might have uh, misinterpreted it a little bit. I was hoping that people would give him a call and that we could move Congressman Paul to support Gary Johnson. Uh, very disappointed to see that he did not do that last night. Um, he said no to everything. The only thing he jokingly said yes to is that he might run in 2016. Um, I'm disappointed in Congressman Paul. I expected more from him. Um, he, in, in this uh, interview last night on Jay Leno, he talked about uh, hopefully audit the Fed and, and focusing on the Federal Reserve would come to the forefront and he would do more to promote that. Well, Congressman Paul, your biggest opportunity to do that is with the Gary Johnson campaign. And you're not doing it. So I have to question your seriousness at this point. I know um, you've been through a lot. You've given a lot to this country. And I truly do respect that. And maybe this is your moment to rest. But how hard was it? would it have been last night just to mention Gary Johnson? Just to mention that there was one good candidate out there at least. You know, Jill Stein is also another good candidate looking at the banks. Why couldn't you have mentioned Gary Johnson in regards to audit the Fed? I just, I just don't understand that. Um, really disappointed and I'm even more disappointed in the fact of what he said about uh, third party candidacies I know he's trying to be honest and explain to people why why he won't run as a third party candidate but at the same time he really kind of poo pooed it and made it seem like voting third party was a waste of time which I do not agree on um, Ron Paul ran third party so I don't really think he believes that uh, the other thing that really bugs me is the Jesse Benton quotes and, 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 and what was posted online recently where Jesse Benton uh, said that he that uh, Ron Paul would not be endorsing anyone for president in this campaign truly disgusting upset yeah I don't, I don't like it I don't I you know I know a lot of people have been giving Jesse Benton a lot a hard time on his role in the Ron Paul campaign um, with statements like that I could I can I can understand why um, this is a really important election we need people to vote for Gary Johnson. We need to get voices of sanity in this in these debates. And uh, Ron Paul and Jesse Benton, they're not helping. And I know Ron Paul's done a lot. I truly do respect him. I've given money. I've contributed to him. Um, I'm not uh, bad-mouthing Ron Paul. I, I just would like to see him do more. And I, I really would like to ask Congressman Paul, please, please, Come out and support Gary Johnson. This is the right thing to do with your media presence, with your network, with your support, with your supporters. We could do a lot, third party or not. You know, it's it's time for you to pass the baton on. You know, it's not uh, just just sticking with your son in the Republican Party. Look how far that got us this year. It didn't get us very far. It didn't 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 do that much at all. It's time to show them that you, you're willing to uh, go third party, that you're willing to look at other candidates that agree with you when your own party, the Republican Party, has basically thrown you under the bus. How much more abuse will you take, Congressman Paul? I don't understand it. Is Jesse Benton and, and these, these political advisors, do they totally own you? Because that's what it seems like to me at this point. So I am truly disappointed. I, I thought that we would see more based on Ron Paul's past actions. I expected more. Um, you know, as having said that, I don't think it's over. I still think we have time. We have we have eight weeks to go. So let's get out the word on the Gary Johnson 2012 campaign. Judge Jim Gray, Gary Johnson, that's the ticket. Um, and let's continue to try to ask Ron Paul. Ron Paul, we want you to endorse, support, campaign for Gary Johnson, Judge Jim Gray 2012. Please. I'm Gary Johnson. As a former Republican governor, I endorsed Ron Paul in 2008. While appearing in a nationally televised Republican presidential debate in 2012, I was asked whom I would select as my running mate if elected. I said Dr. Ron Paul without hesitation. His efforts have changed America. They've changed me. The revolution he ignited in the hearts and minds of millions of Americans will not fade away. It grows stronger every day and will continue to grow because Ron Paul is right. Be libertarian with me one time. Together, we'll send the unmistakable message Ron Paul's revolution isn't a fluke, it's the future. Live free.
It's the American story. Charting your own path. Forging new ways forward. Not because it's the easy way, but because it's the right way. And for those with dedication, character, faith, and conviction, sometimes that lonely path paves the way forward. Ron Paul, 22 years in Congress, he's never voted for a tax increase, never voted for a debt ceiling increase, never wavered, never backed down. The role of government ought to be for the protection of liberty, not for the intrusion in our private lives, not for the intrusion in economic affairs. You can't keep borrowing from China, you can't keep printing the money, we have to cut some spending. I believe in limited government, I believe in individual liberty. We've spent too much, we tax too much, we borrow too much. It's bankrupting this country. 